Hello there guys. So this is what we're working with today. My clients Astra. So this is where the most dirt are gonna be. As you can see there's all kinds of dirt. Traffic film, grime, the leaves there, tree, tree sap, some screen wash here and there. Oh well, so let's start off with the wheels. And this is our setup today. We're gonna be working with the indirect sunlight and uh, show you how I'm gonna clean this car section by section. The, everything is gonna be really hot. We're gonna use minimum chemicals today and we're gonna use more water. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna scrub the tires with this and I'm gonna clean the face of the wheel cap with this. We spray this quickly. I'm not gonna leave it to dwell. I'm just gonna pre-saturate this really quick. This is gonna dry really quick. I want to scrub this tire. The chemical, this chemical built hammer surface HD, you need to be really careful with it because it will dry out on you pretty quickly. Um, I'm using the shower mode now. I don't really need a lot of pressure. I don't want the water to bounce off. There's a few spots left behind. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get back to them, agitate them a little bit. Because you will miss some spots, especially on the wheel that's hammered, like on the wheel cap that's hammered like this. You will miss a spot or two. But then you're just gonna rinse it off really quick. That's it. Minimum amount of water used. Because we're working in direct sunlight, I'm going to blow dry it as well. But before that, I'm going to blow the wheel wells as well. This will make the wheel well a bit look a bit more presentable. Not too bad, huh? So we've done all the wheels and tires. I blasted the wheel arches as well. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna clean the rest of the car. So the panel itself is quite hot and it's quite contaminated. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blast all the dirt off using water. And then I'm gonna go to a contact wash, blast of the suds again. And they're going to dry off the top of the car. There still will be splatter here and there, but um, you don't want water sitting there. So I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. It's in the 15 degrees nozzle here. And uh, basically, as you can see, I cooled down the surface a little bit using my water. And uh, you see, I was using one direction so it doesn't go all over the place, all over the side. I'm just using one direction and I didn't use my wash mitt to clean the rooftop. Now I'm going to rinse off the suds. Sealant shine as a drying aid. I'm just gonna spray a few sprays all over the panels. I have more than enough nits to clean the whole car. It's a strong shampoo I'm using today. It's a little hammer. So I'm just gonna blast off the car and just go straight. Mm. 
Yes, you're gonna get some over spray in the areas you have washed, but you can easily dry them out all over and over again. But you have to control your pressure washer. Um, but it's just gonna happen regardless. I'm just gonna go through really quick. I always give when the windows the boots screw up. It's not gonna damage them anyway. Just gonna pick up all the dirt. And you notice I always use I'm using a wiping down motion. I'm not going to scrub the paint down. Maybe a few overlapses, but that's about it. The paint is scratched anyway, so I'm just gonna go through here again. Again, this. Now I'm gonna flip the towel or the wash mint, whatever you wanna call it. Just gonna go through the paint with it slowly. Push on the wall now. So if you miss a spot or two, don't panic. You can always come back with a quick detailer and just address those areas. I'm gonna address the windows anyway afterwards, finesse them. So this is how we're gonna do the rest of the car. Worth mentioning that I used about 40 liters of water to wash the whole car, including the wheel wells, tires, wheel caps, um, to pre-rinse the car, to rinse out the car soap. It's really nice to use these microfiber wash mitts because they have all these tiny fibers and they're really good on larger contaminated areas because they will pick up a lot more dirt than a traditional microfiber cloth. And you can also feel the difference because they're quite soft and gentle. Uh, the only problem is with them, if you're using a single one to wash the whole car, and if you're using like a two bucket method, uh, they tend to hold on to dirt as it is in fabric. However, if I'm using like a multi wash mitt uh, method like I'm using now, I'm using multiple wash mitts, it becomes really irrelevant and it's really becomes a really safe wash and efficient wash as well because you don't down um, you don't dilute down your uh, car soap um, as you would in the two bucket method you always put in a, f um, a concentrated amount of car soap onto the surface and you're always working with clean wash mitts the way we work the microfiber wash mitt is that we basically pick up the dirt top to bottom using one um, lapse per time we don't want to agitate the dirt if there's any dirt left behind, we can easily um, addre address it afterwards. Glossy, shiny. Um, I could have used some Onar to pre-treat the surface prior contact wash, but water is fine in this scenario. I really, I couldn't be bothered, guys. The car looks fine. It has scratches anyway. It's not gonna make a difference. The car looks really nice. I like the color. Dams now. With a quick detailer, I'm gonna go through them in the microfiber cloth. They're pretty clean. So the windows came out pretty well. The only thing I'm gonna do is I'm using distilled water to go through them really quickly, just one lapse. I don't wanna use any chemicals that can quickly evaporate on you. I'm just gonna use a little bit of water. Just wipe them down. And buff them out really quickly. Just distilled water, no need to use anything else. No one in the streets. So this I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the whole car in and out. I'm using the waffle weave microfiber cloth because it doesn't clog the uh, the window itself with little fibers. 
and um, it's perfect for windows. And I'm also using distilled water because distilled water is pure. Even if it dries on the surface, it will not leave any residue or mineral deposits like water would. Or I'm gonna use this quick detailer. I have plenty of them. Um, and I'm just gonna detail the wheel caps because um, I might have missed a spot or two. They're really dirty, these wheel caps are. This is a six pound tire applicator and I think it's absolutely perfect for applying tire dressing because it gets into intricate areas of the tire, all the patterns it covers and it's quite small and versatile. So this tire dressing, it's not really gonna give you a whole lot of gloss, but it does, it gives you the matte look and it gives you a bit of shine, just a little bit. And I love it, it looks absolutely amazing. Love this product. So this is how the car looks like guys. I think it's a pretty safe wash, especially on the daily driven car. Eco-friendly chemicals were used or biodegradable chemicals were used in this car. Very little water and um, it gives you a bit of pride because you don't really harm in the nature with using gallons of waters or uh, harmful chemicals. So it's quite nice. So thank you for watching the video guys. Like and subscribe and I'll uh, catch you in my next videos.